My first set of clubs were tailor-made racks, and I didn't have a driver, I could not hit a driver. I was like, I don't need a driver, I'm good enough with just irons, I'm gonna be that player. So when I first started hitting driver at a tailor-made burner, it was my godfather's driver. And he was like, you know, you're hitting this really far. And I was like, no way, like, uh, cause I've only played with men. I got into like a different world of golf. I'm Troy Mullins and I'm on Team TaylorMade. So we had a full day. Uh, you started me with a workout before going to the range. Uh, but it was great because I was able to kind of, you know, get my daily workout in, but also activate my core, my glutes. Two, three, four, five. For me, I take a lot of my training from my other sports. So I do a lot of the same core and plyo workouts I did at track. And it helps because I use my core a lot. Um, I like to keep my core engaged to keep everything on planes. And that really helps me with my driver helps me with my irons and hitting down on the ball. Being a track athlete for so many years, it was kind of easy to keep up the routine for something that I really loved and enjoyed. And I don't work out for aesthetic purposes. I really only work out for functional. I try to laugh as much as possible because even then I'm like, ooh, a chance to work out. I was working as a tutor, I was working at a golf course, I was working as a barista at a bar, like as a waitress. So I was doing a lot just to try and even get in the game. And then once I got in the game, it was like a different game as navigating the different issues that would come up as, as being a woman on the golf course, being an African-American on the golf course, and the conversations, and trying not to take things personally. And I'm happy that I was able to be a part of a really cool group of women in Long Drive that drove it over 400 yards and got the attention of, or the respect of a lot of male golfers who said it wasn't possible to hit the ball that far. So I'm doing long drive and I'm out there and I'm trying to stay focused on how do I have a long drive swing and win when I want to play on tour? Where's the balance and how far can I take this long drive versus how far can the game take me? I've made a lot of changes and I'm pretty happy with how it's going and I feel that my game is finally in a place where I'm ready to like showcase it. But even that, I sometimes go out and worry that someone's gonna say like, oh, I've got this wedge. and. I know that I'm dialed in, but they're still thinking, oh, she's just a long driver, when I know I'm so much more. The goal was always to try and make it on tour, but not wanting to lose sight of that ultimate goal, but showing people that I'm trying to make it, that's the goal. If I don't, then you're still on this ride with me and let's see where it goes. I think TaylorMade as a brand, it just fits in terms of understanding me as a player, as me as a person. It's a powerhouse team of number one winners, and but this winner mentality and embracing your strengths. And I feel like until this point, I really kind of shied away from that. And I'm allowed to be who I am here. Beyond Driven means that it's more than just an idea on paper. And I think a lot of people think, oh, you know, I want to do this, but what are you actually doing to achieve it? It's working when no one else is and doing things that are different and sacrificing fun sometimes and friends and relationships for a goal because those loved ones understand they will be there. It's achieving something that you didn't think was possible.